No doubt that Quiero Mis Quinces has introduced you to some amazing quinceañeras who have impressed and inspired you with their unique estilos, awesome personalities, and unforgettable talent. But behind all the glitz and glam, these young ladies have counted on major support from their mothers in order to make the quinces they've always dreamed of come to life. In the next half hour, you'll take a look at our countdown of the most memorable mother-daughter moments as they show you that anything is possible when you have mommy by your side. Get ready for Quiero Mis Quince's 10 Best Mommy Moments. And the countdown starts with Valeria. When her dad surprised her by coordinating the quinces of her dreams, he made sure to find the perfect dress for the occasion. Do you like it? Wow. I love it. After falling in love with her vestido, this quinceañera was all smiles but she wasn't prepared for the royal mess that her dress was about to cause. In our number 10 mommy moment, Valeria is just minutes away from her grand entrance, but when technical difficulties put her in total panic mode, there's just one person to call, Su Mama. Mama! Mama! <laughs> Cuando vi el vestido me dio un ataque de pánico porque lo vi torcido y no lo podía creer, estaba histérica. ¡Mamá! Mami, ¿qué le hiciste al vestido otra vez? Le pegué la, le pegué no, la de es que ve, está, ve cómo está, ve qué onda. Ciérramelo. Pero ve, está de es que es Mamá, lo enchecaste. No sé qué le hiciste. Ay, mamá. Se está saliendo el vestido. Ya te lo amarro, hija. No puedo creer que esto me esté pasando. Si mi vestido está arruinado, no sé qué voy a hacer ahora. Ya se me deshizo el pelo. Uno, dos. Ahorita se arregla. Tres, Levántale aquí. Ay. A ver, está esto. Mamá, ayer el vestido estaba perfecto. Sí, mi amor, pero traía la quinolina. Ni arriba. modo. Me dio un ataque de pánico. Esto no podía estar pasando. Mi vestido precioso me quedaba fatal. Vale, estás perfecta. Ya, vale. Gracias a Dios que mi mamá pudo arreglar el vestido. Ay, ahorita que me estaba poniendo el vestido estaba todo chueco así porque mi mamá lo había pegado. Me asusté demasiado, en verdad. Ay, pero gracias a Dios ya todo está bien y ya el vestido está perfecto. Let's continue our countdown with our next super mom. For many girls, celebrating a quinces is a huge part de las tradiciones familiares. And in Karina's case, her mom has big plans for her daughter's big day. But even though her mom is big into la cultura cubana, Karina wants to show off her unique taste with a classic Hollywood theme. The only way to keep everyone happy was to come to some form of compromise. So in order to convince Karina to honor the family tradition and still have the ultimate experience she deserves, her mom took her on a walk down memory lane. Take a look in our mommy moment number nine. My ¿Viste? karma me estaba flaca. Qué flaca. Ah, pero cuando éramos jóvenes éramos flacos, no siempre somos gordos. Tu abuelo quería hacerme unos 15 espectaculares. Porque tú sabes que en Cuba todo se dificulta mucho. Uh -huh. Pero tú sabes qué? Que hoy tengo 52 años y todavía mis amigas se acuerdan de mis 15. Yo quiero que tú tengas el mismo recuerdo. Tú te lo mereces por ser tan buena hija, por ser tan buena hermana y buena tía. It was nice to be able to have a nice heart-to-heart -heart with my mom. It makes me appreciate my culture even more. Every woman in my family has had a quinces. Now it's my turn to have my quinces. As we continue with our countdown of the top mommy momentos, let's meet Maria and her familia mexicana. Living in North Carolina means Maria's family doesn't have many other Latinos around, but that doesn't stop them from celebrating their cultura. And our number eight mommy moment, Maria's mom sets up a morning serenata, y así es como expresa su amor por la hija. Today 
today's finally the day of my quince. And suddenly I was woken up by mariachi music. Seeing my family do something so special for me just got me really emotional. Te queremos mucho, hija. Love you. I love you too. I just ran downstairs and went to hug my family. I can't believe there were mariachi singing to me in North Carolina. Mommy, thank you. I have the best Mexican family in the world. While the mariachis were playing, my dad started dancing, I started dancing, and the main mariachi put a sombrero on my head. It was awesome. Happy birthday! You are a niña tan hermosa. When you were born, you were so little, so beautiful. And now you are like a rose that is starting to open. You are beautiful, my dear. I love you very much. We're just getting started with our countdown of Quiero Mis Quince's 10 Best Mommy Momentos. Stick around, there are plenty of outrageous and unforgettable moms coming up next. Welcome back to Quiero Mis Quince's 10 Best Mommy Moments. As we take a look back at the most unforgettable super moms who helped make their daughter's quinces a success. Our number seven best mommy moment proves that even if you don't have both parents around, there's always enough love from your familia to make your quinces a success. Corinne doesn't have a relationship with her birth mother and her dad has often had to play the double role of being a mom but that didn't stop Corinne's father and uncle from giving her the quinces she always wanted. From setting up the party to finding a surprise celeb performance, they handled it all, even down to making el vestido. Tata and I have a big surprise for you. What is it? Ooh, I'm not gonna say nothing. Come on. Wait until you get inside. I'm really excited and nervous at the same time. I just couldn't figure it out what it was. Hey, Tata. Hi, Mommy. How's everything? Good. You guys have a surprise for me, Daddy told me. ¿Y por qué tú todo se lo cuentas tan rápido? Come on! I want to know already! Bueno, maybe. Si te wow. los ojos. I was really anxious to see what the surprise was. So I got no other choice. Dale, uno. One, dos, two, y tres. Oh. My. God. As I opened my eyes, I saw the most perfect quince dress. It's absolutely gorgeous. My uncle has made my dresses since I was little, and I like everything about it. A couple of months ago, we were shopping for the fabric, and now I got to see my other dress all finished. I also have a Midsummer's Night Dream dress that inspired the theme for my quince. Your daddy's little princess. Can't believe it's finally my time to shine. I know. Solo me acuerdo cuando naciste, mamá. My uncle started, so it felt really emotional. Yeah. Ay, ya, vamos. Cry. So it was really sentimental. Cry, baby. <laughs> They're really happy for me, and I really love both of them. I finally have my dresses ready for my party. I'm the most luckiest girl. I can't wait for my quinces. And the countdown continues with our next mommy moment. Erica is definitely not your ordinary quinceañera with a unique estilo that is all her own. And when you get to know her crazy mommy, you'll see she definitely got it from her mama. These two are the best of friends, and Erica's mom is a total fan of her hija style, so when Erica's quince was almost shut down, mom was there to handle all the drama. Take a look in mommy moment number six. I danced with the court, I danced with my friends, I even danced with the clowns. I just couldn't stop dancing. This quince is way better than I ever could have imagined it. Oh, there's like a whole line of people outside. Are you serious? It's 
overpacked and they want to close it down. They need an extra cop, so they're trying to work out some kind of deal or something. Outside, there's too many people and they all wanted to get in. I guess nobody showed up to senior prom or that other girl's came to get out because everybody was at my party. Where's my mama at? The fire marshal was threatening to close down my party. I can't believe my mom was putting out all these fires and I had no idea what was going on. If she didn't pay $150 for one more cop, they were going to end up shutting down my party. She went straight to the gift box, started ripping up envelopes looking for cash to get that extra cop. Once my mom had the $150, she ran straight to the manager and paid for that extra cop. So it's okay? Nobody's gonna close my daughter's party, ever! Jacqueline wants to go all out for her quinces with top-notch entertainment from the best DJ around, not to mention the mariachis. But after sharing her big plans with mom, she found out that getting the best costs mucho dinero. In our fifth best mommy moment, Jacqueline's mom explains to her daughter that although the money is running low, cuando hay amor, el dinero es lo de menos. Ya que no es fácil. Todo el mundo tiene los mismos problemas de dinero. My mom thought I was crazy when I told her the DJ that I wanted was $450. So then she suggested that we get the DJ from across the street. But I really didn't want him to play at my party. Si le dices a Peter que toque tu música, él va a tocar tu música. Okay, well, can I get Peter to play in, and my mariachi? Vas a tener un DJ, pero no hay mariachi. It's not no. fair. Jackie, no puedo con oh. Jackie. Ay, Jackie. When my mom told me that I had to get Peter and I couldn't have a mariachi, I was super upset. I didn't even know how to deal with it. Jackie. Jackie. Listen. Mío. Listen to me. What? Yo quisiera darte todo, el mariachi, el DJ, todo lo que sure. tú quieras. Pero ahorita la situación no me deja, mija. No puedo. Desde que me quedé sin trabajo, estamos teniendo un tiempo bien difícil. No hemos podido mandar el pago de la casa. Todo el dinero que está llegando es para hacerte tu fiesta. Well, then don't do my party. No, no se trata de Pay eso. The house. Wait. No se trata de eso. Si todas hemos tenido quinceñera, incluyéndome yo, tu hermana, tus primas, ¿cómo no te voy a hacer tu quinceñera? Well, you're just going to let the house go. Que se vaya, mija. Tus quince solo van a ser una vez. La casa después podemos tener otra. When my mom told me about the whole financial situation, it caught me by surprise. I would have never thought that would have happened to us. Si se pasan tus quince, no hay otra oportunidad para tu fiesta. Además, tu fiesta va a ser para hacerte feliz, para que estés como una princesa toda hermosa. Y yo no voy a dejar que se vaya esa oportunidad, ni voy a dejar que se vayan tus quince años nada más porque se va a ir la casa. Al mal tiempo, buena cara, mija. Now that she explained the situation to me, I understand that I have to make some sacrifices. Let's get to know the next mother and daughter team on our countdown. When the time came for Leia's quinces, she was ready to show off her dancing skills by choreographing and casting a one-of-a-kind performance. After putting in long hours of rehearsal to polish up her routine, she wasn't prepared for the disaster that was about to happen when her DJ played the wrong version of the song. So what's a quinceañera to do in a situation like this? Luckily for Leia, her mom was ready to do whatever was necessary to make the show go on. Take a look in the number 4 best mommy moment. Once the song started, I went out there and it went all good. Until it was time for me to lip sync. No word came out. Mom, how are you gonna lip sync to a song if there's no words? I got so aggravated. If I don't have the right version, it just won't go right with the dance. Mom, mom, mom. There's nothing I can do, baby. You can't plug your thing in there and- I don't have it. It's at home. I'm sorry, mama. They got the wrong song. Oh my God. My DJ didn't have the right song and I left my music at home. So I was panicking because me and the boys worked really hard on the dance and we weren't even gonna be able to do it right. 
we can't get the song in enough time. Everybody's gonna wanna leave by the time they download it. Okay, good, so then when we do the version of the song, it's gonna have a guy part, it's not the same, Mom. I was so sad, kinda embarrassed, because everybody was just sitting there, and I didn't want my guests to start leaving. I'll go get it, I'll go get it. ¿Dónde está parqueado el carro? I can't believe this is happening. Le a mí me debe una. Every time que se pone más cría conmigo, le va a acordar de este momento. Can I have a Gatorade please, or something? I was crying, I was embarrassed, and I was sad. Esto es lo que pasa cuando uno tiene una quinceañera. Lo que hace uno por los hijos. Ay, Dios mío, señor. Do they have any medicine? Because my head hurts really. My head's been hurting all day yeah. really bad. Finally, my mom came with the music, and I felt like she saved the day. Think you've seen the best yet? When we come back, we'll reveal the most magical mother and daughter duos and Quero Mis Quince's top three mommy moments. We're back with the top three mommy moments on Quero Mis Quince's Countdown. As Viridiana prepared for her Vegas-style quince's, she was focused on making her big day totally glam and fabulous. And of course, mom supported her only daughter all the way. But little did Viridiana know that this day was a very special one for her mom for more reasons than one. In our number three mommy moment, Viridiana's mom reveals why her quince's is a total miracle. I got really emotional because my parents were telling me about how I was premature and that they might have lost me. Me llevaron a hacer un ultrasonido y luego me dijeron, tienes que irte al hospital. Tenemos que sacar. Dice porque la niña tiene que salir y le digo yo no. Le digo está muy chiquita. ¿Cuánto pesa? Dice cuatro libras y luego me pasaron por medio donde estaban todos los bebés chiquititos y, y todavía te estaba imaginando una cosa pequeñita. No sabía qué esperar. It was making me really sad to see my mom and dad cry because I never thought that me being premature was such a big deal to them. Por eso este día, mi amor, quiero que el día de tus 15 sea un día muy especial, ¿ok? Porque tú eres un like a miracle baby. Quiero que lo celebres como ese día que nosotros estábamos contentos que todo estaba bien, ¿ok? Celebrar la vida. Natalia has always dreamed of having an amazing quinces and she is finally ready to show all her friends that the shy young lady they used to know is now a confident young woman. But the night before her quinces, she can't help but feel nervous and decides to watch her mom's quince video as inspiration. In our number two best mommy moment, Natalia's mom gives her the encouragement she needs to calm her big day jitters. Bed. Look at the time it is. What's wrong, Mama? I can't sleep. But why? Because I'm nervous. Nervous of what? Everything's gonna be great. Oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> why are you watching my 15s? Well, hello, it's your 15s. You went through it. I just want to know that I'm going through it also. That I can do it, like you did. You'll do it. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. The day is tomorrow, and it's a day that we've been waiting for a very, very long time. Just be happy. Be yourself. Don't let anything or anyone ruin your day. And just let it all in, you know? Why are you going to cry? Because. Well, don't cry. You're going to be OK. You're going to make me cry. Tomorrow, when you have a daughter of your own, we can all three be sitting down watching your kinses, you know? Look, this happened, and it was so crazy. and. I got so scared, and but those what that is what makes 
you know, this day so memorable. And that's what you need to take in and what you need to enjoy. I remember that day. Without you, it would be a complete disaster, most probably. But you helped me. I'm really glad that I'm spending it with you. Me too, Mom. It took you too long to get back here. Well, Mom is my best friend because she has been with me to think and thin. Okay, so you feel better? Yeah. Okay, so let's go to bed because tomorrow is your game day and you need to get some rest, okay? It was actually pretty great that my mom got up because that gave me a time to realize that everything would be perfect. Now it's time to reveal Quiero Mis Quince's number one mommy moment, which shows you how important mom's role is when it comes to making a quinceañera's dream come true. In her 15 years, Terry has had to go through some pretty tough situations, especially the painful divorce between her parents. But through it all, her mom has always stuck by her side and remained her biggest supporter. So when the time came to plan Terry's quinces, she felt it was only right to thank her mom in the most special way of all. Take a look in Quiero Mis Quince's number one magical mommy moment. Usted me ha estado ayudando tanto con la quinceañera. No sé, yo siento que pues ya ve que la quinceañera normalmente baila con el papá. Uh -huh. Me gustaría hacer como un vals con usted. Why should only the father be able to dance with the quinceañera? My mom is the one that deserves it the most because she's been through all the struggles that we've gone through, especially through my parents' divorce. Sí, pero eso no es común que una quinceañera baile con pero su mamá. Pero usted se lo merece, mamá. De verdad me emociona. Oh, me hace llorar. No Hollywood movie is complete without its leading lady, and my leading lady is my mom. Please step on stage. I introduced my mom, and that's when we started doing the mother and daughter dance. Dancing with my mom, it was very emotional as well. I just love the moment. There you have it, the 10 best mommy moments from Quiero Mis Quince's most memorable mothers. No doubt these quinceañeras have learned from the best. Maybe one day they'll share the same kind of love with their daughters and relive that special moment when their moms help make their quince dreams come true.